In this lesson, we will prepare such a composition. We will use an image for one portion of the slide and the main content of the slide will be covered with a nice title, with text and with some icons to close up the entire design. As always, I'm an angry tomato and I delete everything from the slide. And since we wanted to have a sporty lifestyle kind of presentation here, we will use a lot of images. If I see this cross is looking really, really cool. I'll shift it to the left side. I go to the picture tools here in the format tab and I select crop. Crop allows you to make an image smaller and crop it to the right position, only to the place you want to use. Well, I want to get rid of the right side, so I click here and I take out the right side and maybe a bit more on the left, so the other guy is also visible. Let's shift it around a bit. And once you're ready, you only have to hit on the crop icon. Now we have the image prepared and I want this image to cover the left side of the slide. Okay, like this. I see we don't have much space here so I believe we should crop it even more. I'll get rid of the left guy and I make more space here. Why do I do that? Because you need to look at the symmetry of the slide. If this slide would be 75% an image, the text wouldn't look good. And I wanted this slide to be more usable. So this image on the left and now we have enough space. Once we are ready, we'll select a color for the background. And I want a strong yellow color. I'll right click, go to format background. By having the solid fill selected, I press on color and more colors. We could use the default yellow colors or if you want to change something, we can always go to custom and select it here. I believe 250 and 200 green, this is a really nice, nice yellow color. So I'll stay with that. Maybe, maybe it's a bit too orange. So you can always go back to the color, more colors and adjust this here. You can either shift it around or work on this knob. Well, here I have a preview. I wanted it to be a bit more light. Okay, this looks fairly good. Now those sporty style slides need big, bold font. So I'll insert a text box and I'll write something like not only not only the body, let's say I, I write not only the body, it really doesn't matter because that's only a title, a big title which should catch your attention. Now I select both text boxes, Ctrl B and I select once again Open Sans because I know it will look good and I make it bigger. Now let's make it a bit more fancy. The first will be visible like that, but the other one will be a negative. How to do this? Go to insert, shapes and insert a shape. I want a shape like that here to cover up this text. Of course, I'll select no outline. As for the fill, I use my eyedropper and I'll select the same color. If you have a PowerPoint version without the eyedropper, because I believe the older versions didn't have this, just try to stay within this color range. I'll for example select a normal black color. Now I of course need to send it to back, so the text is visible. Now since the text is black, it isn't visible. And now watch what I'll do. In the text fill, we will have some recently used colors. One of these colors, the latest color, is the color for the background. So I'll just select it and I have a nice negative, not only the body. And you can really adjust this. I believe this is a bit too big. It doesn't look as cool. It can stay here on the side. It can go to the, oh, sorry, I didn't select this body text. It could go to the right. One text could be here. The second, it will be easier if I just group it. The second text can be in another position. Maybe in the middle, this will look really, really cool. Okay, in the middle to cover up this slide like that. Well, a bit too pretentious. I'll stay with this right side and this above that to make it a really cool style. Maybe this bigger. Okay, and there we have it. There we have our title. Now here I would add some text and eventually some icons on the bottom. Insert text box, a big text box. Let me grab a text, a lorem ipsum text from the internet, place it here 
Oh, it's fairly, fairly too big. Okay, I want it smaller, like 12, bigger, and justified in the middle. Okay, now I need to work on the composition a little bit. Maybe the text should be gray, because I don't like how, how strongly it stands out from the background. Well, not exactly black, not exactly gray, just a lighter color, okay? Maybe 14 will be okay. This looks neat. I'll shift this to the top, this here, and on the bottom I'll place a few icons just to close up this composition. I'm sure you've seen me several times working on this website. It's a really great website just because if you don't have here an account and don't want to pay for some icons, you can use free icons, which doesn't require backlinking. Okay, I'll select a few simple icons. For example, if I click on this style, perhaps here will be several more icons in the same style, which is really perfect because I want maybe a heart, maybe a bell, and maybe this stopwatch, something which will go along with sport and with the type of presentation and slide I have. And I'll see you back in PowerPoint in a second. I'm back in PowerPoint. I select those icons, the heart, the stopwatch and the bell. I place them inside. Of course, I don't need those design ideas. I make all of them smaller and I place them on the bottom just to fill out this composition. I could make circles around it. I could eventually insert some lines here between them just to make it look a bit more intact with the entire presentation. Since we used those lines already here, I could, for example, take this line, copy it over, and I would have the same style of line here. I would just need to go to format, make it black, come closer, make it smaller. Of course, this takes all time and adjustment, but look how nice does this look if I would have a line here and another line here. Now the composition looks really more full and complete. Without this, it somewhat looks very simple, very plain, and with those icons, this looks really a lot more complete. This is how I design informational slides with big bulky titles, with a lot of content, a lot of text, and still, this doesn't look overcrowded and really well prepared. It would be great if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I share a lot of such designs, or enroll in one of my courses, which you also have in the description below. Thanks and see you next time.